What is up, guys? I'm Rustin Man, and welcome back to Life is Strange, where we're about to play episode four, uh, The Dark Room, which just released, and I am looking forward to playing this. If you want to see the playlist of the series, it will be in the description below. So let's just jump right into it. Episode four, Alternative Beach. Sure. So here we go. Previously on Life is Strange. Previously Whoa. on Life is Strange. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Oh shit. Oh man. Life is straight. A story based on the game of player choices, consequences, and all game action decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. We may have chosen poorly. Um, you'll find out why. In like four seconds, if for some reason this you're watching this episode for the first time. Somebody said fuck the blue bike. Just saying. Somebody said fuck the blue bike. Somebody said fuck the whales too. I, I don't think it's a very nice thing to say. Just saying. Just saying. Don't. You know. They're just kind of left there to rot. Since they're dead, you know. I don't know. Maybe make use of them. I know that's mean. But you know. They're dead already. Through natural cause. Sort of. Technically supernatural causes. But welcome to the dark room, bitches. Talking about a morbid fucking scene, Jesus. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. 
I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, shit. Um... Jesus, why? why? Why right away do we have to have this shit conversation? Um... You blame William? You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Uh, Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Uh, <laughs> it might be. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, you think it might be? Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. <laughs> None taken. Fuck! No! Shit! Why can't we just let her dad leave? Oh, God. Uh, grass is always greener, right? Yeah, not in this case. Nope. Nope. Yep. Talking about awkward. Shit. Fuck, I'm sorry. Oh, God. I don't, I don't. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. 
when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh, good. Yeah, let's just go. There's a snow doe in here. Do you see this? Yo, don't be, don't be getting sick on me. I'm gonna look at the snow doe. Oh, the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. Oh, oh, shit changed. Shit changed. What are you talking about, Chloe? Can we ride the wheelchair? Yo, you don't mind if I just take this for a spin, right? So you don't have like a glass of water in here, do you? Oh, right here. Shit. Mouth controlled joystick. Well, that sounds fucking awesome. I mean, look at this rig, yo. You got set up. I, you didn't have this before. That's a fucking setup, yo. Look at that screen. What is that? Is that a fucking like 30 inch? What you got going on here, huh? All right, yo, let's just give you the water, I guess. Probably should look at the bracelet. Shit. Did she just say drink up? Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? <laughs> Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What? What? Uh, what do you remember? Yeah. What do you that remember good. about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. Don't you ever think different. God damn it. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. Wow. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Yo, technically, I am super max. You don't know what I can do. Let me show you. Actually, I don't know if I can do that. But I actually wish I'd check out the bracelet because I wonder if it was like a bracelet I gave her. Ah, oh, God. All right. Um, Are they okay? They love you. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I want to ask. Are you lonely? That seems like a stupid fucking question to ask. Of course, this seems very, like, generic. They love you, I promise. Uh, are they okay? Uh, seems like a more, you know, let's do it. We're going to find out. I bet you they're having issues. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill. I guess they <laughs> I did, see what you did there. Considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. 
I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Fucking lying, girl. First of all, we're gonna check out this bracelet. Now I got a chance. Look at it! There's the old Chloe. Yo, let's go dye her hair. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it sounds would be a fun. Awkward, actually. That sounds pretty goddamn awkward. Um, what we got? Look at these snow globes, I guess. Snow globes are taking over. Damn right they are. Look at that fucking whale, or is that a golf? I couldn't tell. It looked like a whale. Um, uh, what is this drawer? DVD player? Teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she Hello. likes fluffy animals now. Yeah, Chloe, listen, uh, the blue hair thing. Now I get it. The Blade Runner thing. Gotcha. I'm a medical ventilator. Drawers. Dude, we have drawers everywhere. Look out the window. What's out Does the window? Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Damn. Do you have to be so fucking depressing? Jesus Christ. I don't like this game anymore. The feels. All right, let's search the drawer. Oh, my God. I made that mix for Pirate her when power. we were 12. <laughs> Pirate power. That's awesome. Okay. Well, that wasn't, I guess, is the, the, the drawer. Max. There we go. What? Damn it. What? I'm sorry, Chloe. Here's the DVD. What was that, Chloe? What'd you want? I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear you. Did you say something? What is that? That must be her mighty morphine machine. Yo, you stop. No more what? bongs for her. Use. Oh, is this what she was asking for? Okay. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can trust me. We know Max all about it. So cool that you're here again. You know, I'm glad I agree. You... Oh, Nothing sorry, I cut you off again. Supplies. Medical supply. What's in this one? We should she find has out. She used a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Okay. Ooh. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. Damn right, you can. So great, people get this high tech help. Dude, I I used to know somebody that actually had that shit. Fucking awesome. It was the coolest shit ever. Well, obviously. I mean, what's the wow, guy in Chloe was a straight A student. Whoa! Jesus. She Chloe. could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. As Even if it wasn't another reality. Shut up. Shut up, Max. God damn it. Let me take over. I have a sympathy and number request Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and custody, etc. Blah, 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 blah. blah. It will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell, okay? But that day will come. Chloe's without a doubt an amazing student. I hope you will seriously consider the suggestion. Um, with her outstanding GPA, there's no doubt. Wow, so basically they're saying, fuck your daughter. That's, that's just, that's just fucked up, Blackwell Academy. Burn it to the ground, Max. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. Yeah. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. She was a poser. Don't don't fucking Max. She was a poser before. Okay, coolest thing she had was probably a black flag T-shirt. Let's be honest. I mean, you ain't no punk. You ain't no punk. I'm just kidding. All right. Anyways, that guys. I'm gonna end this episode right here. Thank you, you very. My only friend who kept in touch. Yeah, I should have kept more in touch. God, this is so fucking depressing. Okay. Um. All right, guys. With that, I am out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, the playlist will be in this. The, 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 the playlist will be in the description below. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you next episode. As always, take it easy. <laughs>